for me, uh, this word serendipity has always been this magical word. And I have yet to discover another word that encapsulates the journey that we go on in life, this journey of, of opportunities that we have in front of us that make us go from one path to another. So serendipity, a fortunate discovery. So for many people, if you haven't heard of this word before, serendipity, for me, is a fortunate discovery. It's also an unexpected surprise. And finally, it's definitely a life-changing moment. Now, what's interesting in life is that we are sometimes searching for something. And, and sometimes we don't even know what we're searching for. And in business life especially, we go through an incredible journey. Um, and we end up at some point where we're looking for a job or we're looking for ideas, we're looking to learn, we're looking to discover our passion in something, we're sometimes just looking for inspiration. But this funny journey that we take actually brings us in a lot of different directions. And if you think about yourself right now, wherever you are in your life, how you got to this very moment, and, and all the different twists and turns that life brings us on, and the different people that we meet, and the different opportunities that were placed in front of us. This idea of serendipity, for me, really touches home. And some people ask me, how did I get to this moment? How did I get to the moment of owning three companies and, and doing a few different things in life? And, and for me, there's only one word that actually describes that, and that is serendipity. Now, when we go on this, um, this journey, uh, there are moments of not, we're not quite sure where we're going next. And, and to be okay with this journey of serendipity is one of the first steps, is to accept uncertainty. Because sometimes the journey that we expect to take, for example, the one that was mentioned that I start off very young and do I go in the direction of being an engineer? Do I go in the direction of being um, a dancer? I went in the direction of being an engineer. But we don't quite know what our path turns out to be. Um, and I found myself in this position uh, about 10 years ago. So 10 years ago, I had this fabulous job. I was in Boston and a very comfortable lifestyle. And, just, and I was about to be promoted. How wonderful is that, right? And then I had also just finished my MBA, which for any of you who are in, in your studies or have been in your studies, that usually is a moment of change where you're trying to look at, okay, what do I need to do next? Well, I decided that it would be a fabulous idea to just leave, to actually search for a job in another part of the world. And even though I had certainty all around me, the uncertain path was what drew me um, and enticed me. And you know, one of the things that I teach at night is, is negotiations. So, uh, so I do have um, some capacity in, in being able to convince uh, people. So I actually convinced my husband as well that it was a fabulous idea. <laughs> Um, that we leave our jobs and that we just go on this journey. Um, so, but in, in this journey, as, as actually we're both engineers, that, that means in a very stereotypical way we're a bit conservative, or that, that, is, the, that is the theory. Um, we, we did that, of course, with a plan. We had a plan. So, um, so we, we, we both got jobs um, at this amazing company um, here in Brussels. And it was just fabulous. It's a you know, blue sky research firm grabbing engineers from all over the world. And we thought, this is it. This is fantastic. This is our journey. This is what we're going on. And so we packed everything away and we said goodbye to our family and to our comfortable lives and our, our fantastic um, jobs and everything. And we got on the plane and we, we left. And then we ended and we landed here in Brussels. And we're in our, in our location, in our place, in our, in our rented home. And we've got our boxes all around us ready to begin our journey. And it was at that moment that the company went bankrupt. And, and then you start thinking, really? <laughs> Did I choose this journey? Um, and so we were at that moment. You know, you have to imagine. You know, we, we had boxes around us. And, and we had to figure out what we were doing next. And, and really, of course, questioning ourselves. Really? That was a good idea. <laughs> And, and then we had to figure out, okay, but what was our dream, what we were going forward? So, of course, we immediately picked up the phone and, and we called our companies from Boston and said, well, you wouldn't believe what happened. Um, and we, we said, you know, th this is the situation. And, and both companies were, were like, oh, we're really sorry. They're very empathetic. But they said, please come back. Your desk is it's still warm. <laughs> please come back, you know. 
And, and so we, we got off the phone, and, and the truck is outside you know, the building. And, and we had to decide, do I open the boxes? And it's funny what life you know, takes you on that, that path. And, and, and we looked at each other, and we opened the boxes. Because that was what the dream was. And for us, it was moving forward. So this certain path sometimes is kind of this crazy thing we have in our head. The uncertainty for me has been always the adventure of what brings us next, what opportunity. Now, in relation to serendipity, usually serendipity has this positive aspect to it, right? That there is a life-changing moment that brings you to the next stage. And here we are. We've now opened the boxes, and we have no jobs, no money, <laughs> no paperwork, because <laughs> we're American and being in Belgium. And, and then, of course, no, no, no languages uh, apart from English, which, you know, is um, no understanding of the environment we're in. I didn't even know what was outside the door. We just arrived. You know, I w had absolutely, completely uncertain environment. And crazy as it seems, that was a life-changing moment. Because while, yes, with the uncertainty around us and what are we going to do next, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff, but for me, that helped to demonstrate something about myself, and that is that I love that moment. I mean, it's hard being in that moment at the time, but I can look back at that and say, that was a great moment. This moment of uncertainty in front of you. And now I've got a strange reaction, actually, because when someone says to me, and I often hear that a lot, you know, I don't know what I'm doing next. I'm in between jobs. I'm just finishing school. Um, you know, I'm in a job, but I'm not really not really happy. I really just don't know what tomorrow brings. And then I say, congratulations, <laughs> which is the strangest thing in the world to say, I know. And I get a lot of strange reactions sometimes. But in doing so, this moment of uncertainty that you put yourself in, whether it's by design or not, um, allows you to go in any direction from there. You can go anywhere in life. The certainty is aspect means that you're going absolutely in the path that's in front of you. But the uncertain path is all around you. It's not in one direction. You can go in any direction, which I think is just simply, simply amazing. So it was at that moment that I had to decide, do I open the boxes? Now, one other piece in, in the serendipity journey that we take is the recognition of, of being awake versus asleep. And here you see a business guy uh, asleep. Um, and I'm going to say something strange to you, and some of you may think, I have no idea what she's talking about, and others may go, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. But I look back at my life, and especially if we just stick this to the professional side. So if we, I look back to my professional life, and there were long periods of time where I was sleeping. Now, maybe not like that at the desk, but I was sleeping. Now, that doesn't mean that I wasn't doing well in my job. And I wasn't enjoying and, and meeting lots of interesting people like we all do and traveling and so forth. Lots of great stuff. But I was just going along, you know, every day. And I was asleep. And the thing is about being asleep is you may not recognize that you are asleep until you wake up, <laughs> which is really odd to say, I know. Um, I, I actually read that in an article once where someone wrote, um, it was like I awoke from a deep sleep. And they weren't talking about getting out of a coma you know, being in a hospital. They were talking about that moment of recognizing I'm meant to do something else. It's time for a change. I'm looking for inspiration. I'm looking to discover something. I want to learn something new. I need a new job. I need a new company. I need a better job within my company. Whatever it is that you wake up to feel for the next step. And when that wake, wake up happens, you see clarity. You see the next step. You see where things can go next. And this has been a moment I've been enjoying for all of my career, but especially the last three years, because I have had the opportunity of starting three companies in three years, which is a little crazy. Um, but it's happened because of the serendipitous moments that have occurred um, in my life, having great conversations with people I've just met, that I've been awake enough and clear enough to see the potential around me and take it to the next step. So often, for example, going to events such as this, and meeting people. It's a great opportunity for networking. And sometimes conversations are just conversations. But if you buy into this, that could mean that your serendipity journey, <coughs> that that life-changing moment is in front of you. That having that conversation, that off conversation, gives you this fabulous idea to take forward. And that's actually what's created all of the companies going forward um, in, in anything that I've done. Um, and, and 
with this actually is one of the companies. I had that moment of creating serendipity. Sometimes when you're in that moment of creating change, you want to, you, you need to move it forward the next day. And this I call the serendipity of one email. So after I created my first company, I think I got a little contagious feeling of creation. You know, this entrepreneurial journey, if some of you are on it, it's addictive, I've got to tell you. It's very addictive. Um, and it's fun, and it has a lot of different, you know, journey aspects where you go in a lot of different directions. Um, but there was one moment in time where after I created the first company, I thought, okay, well, I've created that. But I've always had this passion, and the specific passion I'll speak about is something as being an engineer and being one of the few, few female engineers often in the room um, has never bothered me. But it's always, I've always questioned why aren't there more women in sciences? So that created this need. I had this moment of creating one email and sending it to a lot of people that I know. And this serendipitous moment actually created a contagious moment with just one email. And I actually knew it from when I was pressing the button. Bec I don't know how I knew it, but I felt I was hesitant. because as, as, as soon as I press send, this is going to be another thing I'm going to have to do. I'm going to add it to my list. It's just going to happen. And it's been amazing. So I, I sent a message out to the world. And I had said, look, you know, I, I think there's something that we can do about, um, specifically about women in science and girls in science. And I think we can bring out the fun in science. I think we can show the path of going in, in various directions and the importance of math and, and science to children overall as defining, creating possibilities for their future. And I threw that in there. And then suddenly, I pressed send, and I was bombarded with information, bombarded with great messages, and it created a company from one email. And since that moment, which was about two years and a bit ago, we now have more than 500 volunteers working on five continents, and we've reached 6,000 children. And it was from one email. And it was at that moment of life that it was the right time to send it. So serendipity as it, as it was, did I create the moment? Was it just the right moment for me to just put my crazy thoughts into writing and take the risk? And, and the risk being that I could send it off and, and get the response of, really? No, I don't think so. No, that's crazy. I'm not going to do that. Or no one sends anything back. So what? Take the risk. I love that uncertain moment, as you can tell. So let's just try it. And in going for and doing these things, then we find our passion along the way. And I think it's important to keep searching for that passion, keep searching for the love of what you do. And it's not always only in one field. You can love your job, but there might be something more that you need, something more to give back. And it's because of that passion that brought me to my third company that I bought um, recently. And it was purely because of a crazy conversation that I had with some, someone one day. It wasn't my intention, um, but it's funny how life turns into different, different arenas. And the idea with, with serendipity really is that it's a journey we take from one part of our lives to another. And we all have different stories. But yes, while I am the person taking the journey, the journey is actually everybody around me that I've met that have created these fantastic stories. And, and this was the journey that I put together at the moment when I was creating this presentation. But perhaps um, I might put together different photos the next time I do this. Um, it's the journey maybe in the, just the last couple months of where life takes us on these various directions and who we meet and who creates this wonderful life that we're in. But it's also, it's our decision taking it forward. We are the creator of that journey. We decide the direction that we're going in. And you have to see clearly. You have to be awake to see it. Um, and, and with that serendipitous email, if you feel strongly about something, don't just stand there. Do something. And it, it's amazing how the world can open up, at least it has for me. Um, so, so finally, just one thing to mention. For me, life is not what happens to you. Life is what you make of it. And we're all on a serendipitous journey uh, with, with various people that we meet. And, and, and at some point in our lives, perhaps it's time that we open the boxes. Thank you.